Hello, everyone, and welcome to Homo Luden. This is the YouTube channel dedicated to history and wargaming. Um, by now, you'd probably be used to saying hi to Fred. Fred's not here right now, so let me introduce myself. Hello, my name is Joe, and I'm taking over the stream today for Fred. Uh, he's a very busy guy right now, but um, you know he's uh, expanded his community and his network here to involve a few other folks, so I'm very happy to be participating today. Uh, my name is Joe Beyer. I'm here in beautiful, sunny Toronto, uh, getting covered in snow right now. Uh, I also run my own YouTube channel. You may have heard of it, called uh, What Does That Piece Do? to do some very uh, very concise uh, instruction tutorials on some games and uh, some of the history behind them as well. So um, with me today, though, I am joined by a very special guest. I am going to bring into the call. Hello, Stuart. How's it going? Hey, you may remember me from such streams as two weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> we were just joking earlier. I guess Stuart's been on, well, now have been on more Homo Ludens video than, than Fred has so far this year. So yeah, well, I think that's my start. channel now. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The coup has begun. All right. So we're off and running. So fun story here. So me and Stuart have uh, met and we've actually played a few games online. And uh, I think this is the first game we've actually kind of played live real time on talking to each other, though, right? Yeah, yeah. we played the, the longest game of Imperial Struggle. Uh, but That's, this right. Will be That's right. <laughs> our first time playing live. That's right. So I've heard his voice. He may have heard my voice. Um, I've heard his voice on this uh, and also the Homo Ludens podcast. Um, he's probably heard my voice before, too, uh, talking. So this is our first time actually speaking live. So this is great. I think you're at least a little bit to blame to my copy of Maria that's on my shelf that I haven't played yet. <laughs> that's true. The one other time I appeared on this uh, channel is uh, during the Maria stream. Uh, Fred and Dan Bullock were teaching me how to play. Uh, that was just about a year ago this time. So so great to be back at it here. Um but yeah, we've met because we were kind of part of the Homo Ludan community. For those that don't know, um, you know, Fred's got a Kofi that you can uh, donate to to help keep this channel alive and going, help him make improvements to the tech that he's using. Got some pretty cool, funky tech that I'm playing with here today. Um, but if you do that, then you can join the Homo Ludan Discord server, where uh, that's where I've met Stuart and a lot of other great individuals. There's a lot of fun stuff going on there, a lot of discussion about, oh, history and games and uh movies and music and cuisine i think there was a pretty heated battle the other day about cheese as well which country has the best cheese um don't talk to fred about putin by the way a quebec uh, staple that i don't know i don't know he holds a grudge for some reason but uh lots of fun dialogue and discussion going on there um, and on top of that, um, there's usually the game of the month that has been happening for many months in a row now that I've been able to participate in a few times where we all decide on, hey, what's the game of the month going to be? And then uh, we all try and get together and play it. And then Fred has some guests on his podcast. And Stuart, I think you've been in involved in a few of those as well, too. Some debriefs on, hey, what was it like to play the game? Yeah, and on yeah. so we just did uh, Supply Lines of the American Revolution most recently. So. Right. That was actually October's game of the month, uh, but we kind of missed October for various reasons. So we recorded that this month. Uh, normally it's one game a month. Currently we're playing Command and Colors uh, for two months, which kind of gave us that breathing room to to have that extra fill in. But yeah, we played a good few games in the past. Uh, it's been, it must be almost a year now it's been going. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's actually the reason, reason I joined the community initially is I saw everyone playing Washington's War and realized I was missing out because yeah. I still haven't played Washington's War. But I played pretty much all the games since, and yeah, it's it's yeah. a lot of fun. It's a lot, it's a great motivator to like get games played that you really want to play. And if you're like me and you just rig the vote so it's the game you want every month, <laughs> it's like the best. Let me tell you. So it's Recommend worked in it. your it's worked in your favor. Help dust them off the shelves yeah. uh, and, and get them played again. You go back re revisit some old classics like games like this, the like Commands and Colors is like from 2006, right? So yeah, the introduction for me then has been uh, I gotta give a shout out to Russ. I don't know if he's watching right now, but Russ Wetley uh, from the U.S. There, he hopped right on uh, playing Memoir 44, which is based on the Commands and Colors system, which is a great introduction to do it. We've been playing on Board Game Arena, tons of games there. But this is my first game, and I've had a lot of fun with that one. This is my first game of playing Commands and Colors Ancients. So I kind of know the system, kind of know how the game works. I've been pouring through the rules, but Stuart's going to really help me through this. And we've specifically chosen a scenario which I believe has elephants. So once you said, we got to get along with the elephants, I'm like, yeah, obviously, you got to bring in the elephants. war. Yeah, they're great. They're absolutely war. horrible, but they're also they're great. <laughs> I'm reading some of the stuff on what happens if uh, if they get attacked or try to evade, then they could trample you. Yeah, if they, if they if retreat, you're... it's bad. 
It's, yeah, they're great. They're great as long as your opponent never rolls flags, and then they're <laughs> absolutely horrible if they do. It's it's phenomenal. So yeah, I've played a lot of commanding colors over the years. Uh, I've played quite a few entries in the system, and I played a lot of ancients in college, but I haven't played it in about ten years, I'd say. So uh, I jumped back in with memoir again, like everyone has, because board game arena makes it really easy to play memoir, and memoir is one of my favorite entries in the series, if not my favorite. Uh, this is a little more complicated than memoir. I think it is one of the best entries in the system and maybe one of the most like technically enjoyable, like from a slightly heavier, more tactical game. So it's good to kind of to jump in. It, there's a lot more kind of Chrome and bits to know about the system and a few really essential changes to how it works. But the core of the game is basically the same across. And that's the thing that's nice about Command and Colors is that it's it's actually quite simple. So even this being one of the more complicated entries in the system series is still a pretty light war game. So it's it's not too bad. Uh, you do really want your play aid to keep track of all the unit types. Although we're playing the base game, the third scenario, uh, the, the battle's name escapes me. I have it here. Uh, Bagradas 253 BC. It's first Punic War, uh, Carthage versus Rome. Famous Carthage victory with the Carthaginian war elephants. So... It's a little bit less than like there's, I think, seven expansions to Ancients now. So there's quite a lot more stuff when you get the more and more boxes. Uh, this will be not quite that bad. I think we don't have to worry about too much. Mostly the elephants are the big the big piece of extra rule. But yeah, we can kind of dig into it as we play. I think I'll try and kind of run through the key differences to know about how the system works and yeah. and what's different from memoir that's really crucial to not having your day completely ruined. Well, it might be a rough day for me as it is. Now that you tell me the Carthaginians uh, traditionally won this, I've taken the seat of the Carthaginians, so we're no probably pressure. not going to really relive history here. Uh, I love your line that you used while we were playing Imperial Struggles. Like, no strategy, just vibes. Just, just like go with it. <laughs> Don't count on strategy today, folks. This is not. This is how functionally you play, but not a great way to play what Joe's going to do. So let's take a look at that. So I've got it set up here and we've got it on Vassal. So I believe I've set everything up properly here. Uh, I've taken my seat as the Carthaginians. With the Carthaginians, we get to select, I think, six cards and the Romans yeah. can select four, if I'm not yeah. mistaken. Okay. Yeah, so it's six to four. This is the thing I like quite, quite like about the system that's very simple is like the different hand sizes to reflect who's got a better tactical position because you get that many more options. Uh, it's it's quite light. You are also the first player to go. Oh, so great. Some key, I know you've read the rules, <laughs> so I won't run through everything. Key things to know about that are fundamentally different in this game. One of them is the battle back, which isn't a memoir 44. So if you attack oh. someone in melee and they don't retreat, they will hit back with their full dice. That is something mm -hmm. to watch out for. It makes melee much more dangerous to both sides and less of that running one troop up to kind of get that desperate attack uh, mm -hmm. a key difference is leaders so leaders well the unit they are attached to is able to ignore one flag on the retreat uh, and then the other one of the major advantages of leaders is that the unit the leader is attached to and the units adjacent to that leader will hit when they roll the leader symbol on the die so the die is slightly different uh, instead of memoir which has uh, two infantry a tank a grenade a star and a flag we have a green circle, a blue triangle, and a red square, which kind of reflects the unit types. That functions like rolling tanks to hit tanks. You need to roll red square to hit red square. Uh, red is generally, they're the heavy infantry. Blue is the medium infantry, and green is the light infantry or light cavalry. Then you have the leader symbol, which generally doesn't hit, but does hit when you have a leader or adjacent to a leader. So having that ups your chances of hitting substantially from generally being a one in six to being a one in three big difference yeah then you have the double crossed swords which is generally a hit in melee uh some light infantry won't be able to hit on that uh some units ignore hits on swords so there's like a, that's kind of like the grenade from memoir right. except that it's a little more situational and then the flag is the flag you it triggers retreats so got it that's kind of the core of the dice. The other thing to kind of note that's not really covered in the rules, but is useful to know about is the existence of line cards, which I don't know if you drew any, but so there's leadership cards and line cards, which allow you to activate units that are adjacent to other units. So a leadership card mm -hmm. will usually let you order a unit with a leader attached and then 
two units kind of in their commands or within a number of hexes of them. Uh, so that's kind of useful for leaders activating certain units around them. And then lines uh, allows you to activate units that are in a line. So moving larger numbers of units, because often you'll want to keep your units bunched together. Because another difference is that if you have a unit who's adjacent to two friendly units, he can ignore one flag. So that is also useful. It's also worth noting that your elephants ignore some of these rules because elephants are absolutely wild. So they don't <laughs> get hits on leader symbols. Um, and I think they can't ignore flags. Okay. But we'll check that when we start rolling flags on them. Uh, the fun thing that elephants do is that whenever you roll double swords, uh, you can keep re-rolling those double swords to generate more hits. Interesting. Okay, so, yeah. so <laughs> be smart with your elephants. Yeah, don't uh, let them run away. Use them to kill. <laughs> Got it. The other thing is, uh, so you know in Memoir 44, tanks can overrun and attack again? Yes. Uh, so in this, uh, elephants can do that. Uh, cavalry can do that. Cavalry can actually move one additional hex before they make an attack. So they can move into the, the hex of the unit that's retreated or been eliminated and then move one step further and attack. Or they can even move back to their original position and attack. And then infantry units that have a leader attached can move into the hex and attack. Uh, other units can move into the vacated hex, but they cannot make an attack. So another advantage of the leaders. But also, think... anytime a unit takes a hit, you have to roll and see if the leaders die. Right. So I read that too. So is that momentum that we're looking at? The advanced yeah, momentum. section? Okay, so if a momentum unit... Advanced has momentum advance and they can if they win the battle they can keep pushing on and like you say the yeah, uh, so that's the um uh cavalry can keep on pushing through to two hexes yeah and it's yeah. a momentum advance the default is like the infantry and memoir can take an emptied space but only certain units can do the, the extra attack so elephants can do the extra attack cavalry can do the extra attack and uh units with leaders attached can do the extra attack the other thing oh. is that there's all the units move slightly different distances and things which i'll leave to our our play aids uh to look at are just enormous plays you have to keep track of. Yes. So right now, folks on the screen, I just have the actual vassal battlefield here. So I don't have the player aids. If uh, Stuart, if you think it's worth uh, putting up, I can put those up at some point too. But also, I don't want you to see my hand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For what it's sure, worth, sure. again, no strategy, just pure vibes here. So here's the other tricky thing too is because I'm on the top of the board, my left and right is backwards. So yeah. I'm going to have to keep remembering that because on the cards itself, it'll say left or right or center flanks. Center should be easy, but left and right. All right. I'll just uh, pretend yeah, I'm looking so happy to be here. the bottom of the screen. It's great. Okay. All right. So I love I'm, just gonna, I'm just going to go with it. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm not quite sure where to start. I don't know if there's a, an ideal opening uh, gambit here. Uh, Let's move but... center pawn forward too. <laughs> sure. Okay. Well, now <laughs> if we're talking chess, then you've already lost me because I'm trust me, I'm no good at chess either. Um, so what I'll do is we'll just I hit the discard here and it'll show up on the screen, I believe, and then we'll. We'll go from there. Um, what play card? Here we go. Oh, wow. Boom. It ends up right in the middle of the screen. Look at that. Um, massive. So that's two on the right. My right, not your right. So my right being up here. Um, I want to move to, whoops, it already discarded it for me. Um, I want to move to, and just for the record again, my light cavalry can move up to four. Yes, that should be right. So that activates them. And um, whew, but do I want to activate them just yet? I mean, they're good for those charges later on, right? Yeah, so a light cavalry, your light cavalry will generally be missile troops. So they can shoot uh, two hexes and they can shoot, they're fired, they shoot for two dice or one die if they moved. Uh, they and also the have two dice, dice yeah. in close combat because generally the amount of dice you rolled is, debate, is related to your color. So broadly, okay. it's going to be two for green, three for blue, and four or five for red. Uh, okay. So, and so basically all I have to, that I can command here is basically, I'm gonna have to move one of these if I wanna uh, move some of the other ones at all at any point. Um, it's good to just like, this is what I learned from MR44. It's kind of nice to have people sort of a foot in one center and left or right. So then you've got more command options, but I think it's early on. I don't need to worry about that. So maybe I'll just get some troops up and get moving here these guys specifically are foot units they are just light infantry so good to have around oh and for the record so yeah we do see the values of all the different um blocks so these would normally be blocks and would normally be four blocks but this here for example light infantry is just three blocks so at most they're going to take three hits before they are gone right 
Yeah, so yeah, cavalry, there's three in the unit, and the uh, infantry will be four, and the elephants are two. The elephants are two. Okay, great. Um, all right, well, let's get some movement here. Maybe I'll just move these guys. Oh, and there's oh, a yeah, there's sound effects. Channel. There's sound effects and everything. I forgot about that, too. So they have a range of two, and they can move two. But at the range of two, they're only going to fire one dice. Is that correct? They would shoot. So it's two dice by default, one die if they moved. So the, the range doesn't tend to affect how many dice you roll, but whether or not you moved is the, the primary indicator. Okay. Also, terrain in theory, but there's no terrain in this because there's actually very little terrain That's in true. the ancient world. I don't know if you knew that, but they didn't invent hills until the fourth oh. century AD. So. so hills, swamps, rivers that they just didn't exist back then. Okay. Cool. So are we assuming this was fought on some plane somewhere where there wasn't much else? In I mean, I think in fairness, on? this is fought in Algeria somewhere, somewhere in North Africa. Oh, okay. So it is out in the desert. Okay. Sounds good. Anyway, how about these guys will move too? So I've ordered them. It means they can move. Let's just move them too. Um, let's get some, let's get some horsey action going out here too. Let's just move these guys out again. Probably not the best idea. I'm not used to this sort of range of movement, by the way. Memoir 44, you're moving like one or two, maybe three hexes if you're lucky. Um, I will go. <laughs> Two, three. Let's try this. Let's see what happens. So now I have both of these. Now, sorry, correct me if I'm wrong here. My mounted units, they moved, they can move up to four, but they're not one of the ones that have to. I'm thinking the warriors, right? The warriors, when they move a certain the warriors, distance, they have if to they attack. Move two, they have to be adjacent and able to attack. Otherwise, they All move right. one. So they can They'll charge a one. one. They're all about the charges. All right. So it's all about like getting them to gather up steam and whatnot. Okay. Um, so with that said, my light infantry moved in here. Um, they've got a range of, again, a fire range of two. So th again, the fire range is the um, range combat, not the close combat. Yeah. So how about this then? So these guys, whoops, I just hit them. I guess I'm attacking. Okay, so this module already knows what I'm choosing to do. So now I've moved them, I've ordered them, I can choose to attack. I don't have to attack, but I'm gonna, just because that's what you do in this game, right? Yeah. Uh, all right, so let's do these guys first. So they will attack. In the, is there a way to mark who I'm attacking here? Yes, there is. Oh, There's wow, my target. Very fancy. I played Brilliant. Medieval Brilliant. earlier this month, and it's like this module if you took out a lot of the fanciness. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right. So these guys are attacking these guys, and I'm going to roll, uh, sorry, one dice here? One die? Yeah, one die. So you're, you're okay. base two, and then one from you go down to one for moving and shooting. Okay. So let me hit the one die and just see what Probably not the best thing to do, but whatever. Let's try it. One die. Yeah. Go. I got a green. That's a hit. That's a hit. So I'll let you have the honor of reduced from four to three. Okay. So that's done. And now, okay, those guys are done. And we're going to attack them again because I just want to start chiseling them down. And this will attack with one, one die as die. well. One die as well. So okay. two dice reduced to one for moving. One for moving. Okay. That applies to light infantry and cavalry. And light cavalry. Yeah, but okay. Pretty much every missile unit, I think, has that restriction. Okay. okay. So I don't I'm just... universally, but. I think everyone we're going to deal with today is going to be like that. Okay, so I'm just kind of loosely poking at the seam so far. It's basically all I'm doing here. I'm just trying to slowly chisel away and draw you in the battle. Probably get trampled in the in the return, but we'll see what happens. So another roll here and blue. Okay. So not a hit. Nothing. Okay, so that's done. Um, okay, that's uh, my turn. <laughs> thing you, yeah, you... All the damage I did. So I reset these. Um, Sorry, and now is there a response from your side? No, only in melee would I battle back. Melee. Okay. So how do I battled? Okay, clear marker. Okay, I think there's a whole clear movement thing. Let me do this. Uh, there may be a clear movement. Right. Nope, that's a line of sight thing. Okay, you've got it. <laughs> you know what you're doing better than I am. All right. Let's clear that. Ah, right click clear marker. Right. And so. All right, and then you and then, draw, oh, and you I draw get to card. draw one more card. Yes. Yeah. Where do I do that? <laughs> oh, just so, there. There it is. Okay. There you go. I figured it out. I'm all good. Over to your turn, sir. Okay. I will order three in the center. Uh oh. So you are doing that center pawn thing. Okay. Here we go. I'll move him there. 
up there and my light infantry can go one, two to there. Okay, so this light infantry will shoot this light infantry for one die. Will I do that? No, I'll hit you in melee first. So this one here for two dice. So to clarify then, you're doing melee because you can't more in close combat. Yeah, so I, you can do the, them in any order you want. So I'm trying to okay. decide what order makes sense because I don't want you to retreat from my thing, but... Mm. Yeah, so I you're trying to decide if you're going to so shoot with, with the guys further in to see yeah. if you could take some hits and then do the melee. Yeah, but I think I'm going to do the melee first. So this is just green infantry, so they roll two dice. Let me make sure that I'm getting them right, because... Yes, yeah, so they're just light infantry, two dice in close combat. They don't hit on swords, because uh, they're a bit garbage, basically. <laughs> uh, but because he is adjacent to my leader here, he does oh. hit on the leader symbol. So it's one hit. Brilliant. Because you see the little helmet. Okay, I will. Here. I will knock me down a peg here. Uh, take a hit. Okay. But now Boom. you then hit me back for two dice because you are also a useless light infantry. So okay, so we're just like smacking each other in the face. Yeah. There's like... a lot of that at the early okay. stages of the game. Okay, so two oh dice, yeah, Patrick has reminded me that you are actually allowed to choose to evade with these infantry. I forgot that these infantry could evade. So evading. Uh, Yes, they're in the evade close combat. So evading is light cavalry and light infantry can choose to evade in melee. So you could retreat two hexes immediately and it would negate any hits that don't match your color symbol. So it would, have it would have negated my ability to hit on leaders. And it would normally negate your ability to hit on swords, except this guy doesn't hit on swords anyway. So okay. you could choose to evade or you could choose to have stayed and hit me back. So it's a decision because you'll never battle back if you evade because you must evade two hexes. Got it. And you have to be able to retreat two hexes to evade. Yes. So if his path behind him was only one hex, he couldn't choose to to evade. He has to have the open two hexes. Um, okay. So it's not like retreat. So retreat is no. kind of the same. You need to have the two because otherwise you have to have the, the two to be able to yeah. evade. Okay. All right. Cool. Then that's so, how it worked in medieval, and I'm pretty sure it's the same in this one. Okay. Uh, so, so we're not light cowards. Infantry and light we're not cavalry. evading. Yeah. Okay. We're not cowards. We're going to stay in fight. So now I get to roll two, see if I can slap yeah. you back. And again, just uh, for, You're for greens, yeah. Oh, okay. I need some greens. Let's go. Nada, no, my leader yeah, and he, the light infantry don't hit on double swords, so got it. Doesn't hit. And then this guy gets one die shooting in here because he moved, so he's only one die. He also needs a green or a flag. You retreat Ooh, two, two X's, I believe. So far, light infantry retreat, yeah, okay. two X's. Whoa. Uh, okay. Well, let's just go back to where he was. He can go running back to, to Mama here. Okay, it's what it is. And then... So he evaded, meaning this guy now can't actually attack. Well, that was that was his attack. There was the flag. Oh, that was his attack. Okay, yeah. got it. Uh, so it's right. almost always worth evading with your light cavalry because the light cavalry retreat four hexes if they have a flag rolled against them, and evade ignores flags. Got it. Okay, Patrick said you can evade at least one space available, so that is different in medieval because in medieval you have okay. to have two spaces available to evade. Okay. It's a, medieval is like ninety percent the same game, which means that last ten okay. percent is like really easy to mess up. It, to be fair, you're more of a medieval historian yourself, correct? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So yeah. Although sense. the medieval is actually like fifth century AD, so it's very, it's very <laughs> Roman. Uh, Okay, so I have some interesting one here, interesting cards here that have to do with command. Equal to command, my command is six because that's how many cards it can drop. Is yeah, that how many cards in your hand? Yeah. Okay. Including that card always, so it's you have six cards. Okay, so there are some juicy cards in my hand. I got to decide what I'm doing next. Light foot and light mountain equals equals command. That's that's pretty neat. Um, ooh, I don't know if you know what this is, but if, am I giving it away if I say I have the Spartacus card? Uh, I don't remember what that is, but it sounds okay. like it's probably good. good. It's, I think it's juicy. It's probably good. I'm still trying to parse it here, but I think for now, what I'll do. There are some is, wordy cards in this game. There, yeah, exact class. It wouldn't be a GMT game if it didn't have some text-heavy cards where it explains the rules to you on the card itself, uh, for sure. Um, well, let's just do. Hmm. 
which side do I want to distract you from now? And again, all my horsies, they can go as much as four, range of three. Okay, well, horses are fun. And again, the goal of this game, just so I'm clear too, is every every block that's knocked off counts as a, a uh, sorry, what's it called, a banner or a flag? Yeah, I don't know what it's called in this one. They're always slightly different things. But yeah, you need yeah. to fully eliminate seven units to win the game. Yes. That's what we're both trying to do. Yeah. Completely eliminate uh, seven units. And then it has a little helpful track along the bottom. Okay. Yes, that's where we're going to keep track of them all. All right. So we'll perfect. move them over there as we eliminate them. Yeah. And that will... so far, the game is even. We're one card in. The game is even. So <laughs> not feeling too bad just yet. Okay. Now, and again, I'm trying to remember my left from right here, but I think I'll start with. Well, uh, let's. Uh... Oh, do that one. Sorry, I didn't go to the play card section for some reason. Did you call? Did you draw? By the way. Yes, I did draw. Okay. All right, so I'm going to get three activated here. Why not? Let's go. Uh, oof, getting Hamilcar up in there is probably a good idea. Eh? And he's on a mounted cavalry. Sorry, medium cavalry. Medium cavalry. So he can move as many as three. three yeah. So why don't I get him? Whoops, not just yet here. Let's just move this guy. Get him into this mix. Uh, he's a light cavalry. Not light cavalry, light Infantry, move as many as two. He's got a range of two. That's wonderful. Um, horses can move as many as four for the four. green, three for the for Hamilcar's blue. Right. So let's just get. I'm moving just three units here. All right. Let's just get this guy. And then we can move Hamilcar as many as three. That seems like the thing to do. And that's three from my left flank. Okay, perfect. Now, let's get some attack action on here. Let's uh, just start chiseling away at this side. Um, see what happens. There's my mark. And I'm only rolling one here again because these guys moved. Yeah. Let's give it a go. It's great. Hey, it's a hit. I'll take it. Done. Okay. Or these guys now, they are, and the horse is only going to roll for, again, just one. Just one for moving, yeah. All right. But we need the green. We need a green. Come on. No good. Oh, my leader's attached, though. Is that a hit? I think leaders don't hit on missiles, but Patrick might confirm if that works in this one. I think it doesn't in medieval. Good thing we got Patrick here. Yeah, he just, <laughs> he's, for those who don't know Patrick P's YouTube channel, he's playing through, I think, every battle in Ancients in chronological order. And he's a decent way in. So he knows this game significantly better than either of us do. Okay. <laughs> That's a good sign. Uh, close combat only. Yeah, close leaders. Combat yeah, only. Close right. combat only. So that that uh, leader um, doesn't it's really nothing. help much. Hamilcar, you're not helping me out yet. But uh, perhaps in the near future. Okay, cool. So that's me. I'm done. Uh, marker. No marker. And I will draw up and back over to you. And then what should okay okay and sorry how are you clearing those by the way i am clicking the little map in the top right and clear movement marks although patrick is saying that if we at the end of our turn hit the hourglass it will end the turn and draw your card for you so there's a little hourglass that's next to the player aids it's up here got it nice. see we're overthinking it doesn't this. let me it doesn't let me highlight stuff outside of that okay <laughs> all right Fair enough. Or, you know, uh, someone has asked if this game distinguishes between uh, Latin allies from Romans. Not in this battle. Uh, there are no special rules at all. So it's just, I guess you're just supposed to kind of guess that the lighter infantry are allies or it's in the unit composition. But there's nothing special about them that separates them from other units. Is there gonna... an auxiliary or something like that? Is that not with the representation? Yeah, there? there's auxiliary are a type of unit. So these with the A's oh, okay. are auxiliary. Okay. And they're slightly different. What makes them showing off they my on... vast historical military knowledge? Yeah, they hit on swords, which makes them slightly better. Oh, okay. And they can't, they can only move one in close combat. So I'm moving two in the oh, middle. Uh -oh. Move Regulus up one. We slowly, we slowly move up. Do I want that? Yeah, we'll just we'll do a slow advance. 
interesting. And then, oh yeah, it plays the little bell when you end your turn. Oh, ding ding! Oh, nice. Ding, ding. That's great. Little hourglass. Where do I? There's actually one in your hand. There's a little hourglass if you open your oh, hand. That'll end your is. turn. Mind blowing. Yeah. Um, cool stuff. What would we do with there, Patrick? Okay, so you just did moves, and that was it, eh? Yep. The imp the medium right. infantry move was okay. Uh, Fear oh, my man. Roman speed. Hmm. So this one's interesting, but actually not that interesting. Come on, move the elephants. That's what the people are here for. Um, I'll tell you right now, I uh, I can't. <laughs> um, well, I might. Hmm, all right, let's um. All right, let's 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 get the elephants moving. If you say so, let's do it. Um, you shouldn't listen I, to me. I don't, I don't give good advice. I think this will allow me to maybe, but like, I'll be honest. I don't have a card in my hand that will let me to do it from what I'm seeing right now because it's all uh, foot and light uh, mounted units and whatnot. Except for well, here's here's a Spartacus card. Um, it wouldn't let me play the card to that thing for some reason. But um, roll a dice equal to command, which is six for each unit symbol rolled. One type of this unit. Uh, one of these unit type is ordered and a leader symbol orders any unit or a leader. Units may be ordered in any section or units battle with one additional die this turn. Yeah. That seems okay. premature to be playing that though, because that's better for yeah. battle, but we'll see what happens, right? Okay, let's let's roll six and see what happens. Well, I got a lot of <laughs> you got a lot of blue and one of your choice. You can activate three blue units. And and I only have three. Players. I think you could just put Ham. You should just do like a suicidal charge with Hamilcar. That's well, that's, that's what that I could would be do. fun. That could be fun. Or I could get uh, this guy here. Goes. So the thing is, I get an extra die roll with those ordered units, though. So yeah. You can't not right. Yeah, um, Hamilcar can just go like one, two, three, or come over here and attack the enemy general. That's like ooh, that's what a hero would do. That's. That that sounds fun. <laughs> I can't will do that. So anyway, I got three blue and and a general on top of that. And, and a leader on top of that, right? Yeah, a leader or any unit, right? Or any unit. A leader okay. well, any... any unit or a leader. Okay, so the any unit is obviously going to be the elephants. We got to get the elephants. Yeah, you can out. order an elephant. Got to get the elephant out there. Got to do it. Um, all right, so this will count as one blue, <laughs> just like you said. <laughs> Kamikaze mission here with. Um... Oh, that's not a good idea, is it? But he but... can actually evade the foot unit attacks. So okay, so maybe get in here. <laughs> he, he is a little bit less um, vulnerable. He get well, but wait a second. Now he's a, a medium cavalry. Okay, so he can move that far and still attack. Well, now we're in close combat. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. So let that's one blue. <laughs> Let's get these guys out. Oh, the war. Oh, the warriors have to charge, though, don't they? They they can move one and just they can just move one, or they can they can only move two if it puts them in melee. Otherwise, they just move one. Okay, let me roll this guy back again then, because I'm going to get um, this cavalry out as well. One, three, and then he'll just move out one. These doofuses will move out one, and let's get the elephants. You only the have elf three blue, so one of those will have to. Oh, move. sorry, I only had three blue. Okay, well, let's um, let me put I'll this guy just back. Put this he's guy, not, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's back. not really doing anything useful just yet. Um, so these guys are in the mix, and then my uh, big bad heavy elephants, elephants move two. Can only move two, but then they attack. The range is still two. They're, they're a melee unit, so. Oh, okay. All right, well, the elephants are going to start ambling down through here to get in the mix. Does that sound good? Get into it. <laughs> yeah, why not, eh? Um, okay, well, I'll attack with an additional die. So the range on the mounted cavalry, again, is just two. Well, they don't have any. So they should be three. He should be three. Should be three. So I'm thinking uh, specifically. Medium cavalry, is... CC dice. So this guy, oh yeah, no, there's no melee, there's no shooting for the, the medium cavalry. So he doesn't have anywhere to shoot because okay. medium cavalry are just melee. Uh, Hamilcar okay. over here rolls three dice base uh, up to four for Spartacus. So you can choose which of these two units you want to hit for four. 
Well, let's start chiseling down I would, the leader here. So there's kind of two things to consider. One of them, this guy in the middle, you oh. might get a leader kill. That's useful. This guy here is not supported and so cannot resist with flags. Uh, so Oh, good call. Fair enough. Having him retreat because he can ignore this guy can ignore two flags because he's yeah. got a leader and he's supported. And it's a very low chance of the leader being eliminated in that die roll. I yeah, believe, you right? would need you then roll a separate leader kill check and you have right. it's quite unlikely you have to roll two dice and have a leader symbol in each die. In both, yeah. Very unlikely. Okay, I like I like what you're saying. Unless you but... kill the whole unit, then there's a different check, but Okay. I think yeah, the exposed well, just... infantry is slightly better. Start with this for the attack. And these guys are the target. So I'll roll four here because normally it would be three. Yeah. Normally and I'm going to roll four medium. with Spartacus, um, which again, probably with Spartacus. Just wanted to get the ball rolling. Okay. Now, do you get to evade first before I roll? Me, infantry don't evade. Oh, or the right. medium infantry don't evade. Light okay. infantry and cavalry evade. Got it. Let's see what happens here. Rolling four. That's pretty good. So that's that's three hits. Oh, because the leader's on there. Oh, sorry, the medium cavalry? Medium cavalry hit on double swords. Double swords. Thank you. Oh, so all right. It's the light infantry that the light troops don't hit on double swords, but the medium cavalry will uh, will okay. hit on double swords. Uh, now, he can then battle back. I think you can evade his battle back. Patrick might be able to confirm. Because <laughs> uh, medium cavalry can evade foot soldiers or heavier cavalry. Do I want evading is probably not a bad idea. Then I can get attached to that elephant. Yeah, was so that you would? Yeah, you'd be able to go back to. No, uh, he attacked here. No, I attacked. So thus okay. I would not. Oh, you attacked. Okay, so yeah, you yeah. can't evade. That makes sense. Okay, okay so okay. I roll three dice for medium. Let me infantry. let me finish my turn here. Oh yeah, sorry. And well, no, this is this is a, the attack is on your turn because it's a battle oh. back. Sorry. Uh, oh, the medium infantry are better in this one. They roll four dice. Uh, they are three oh, dice. What? So four dice back to you. That is four hits because he's adjacent to a leader. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff. Oh, so wow. This... So... <laughs> so leader then. So, so, leader, so because the unit is wiped out, I roll one die. And we see if I can roll a fifth leader symbol in a row. <laughs> I, I do not. I do not do roll not. a fifth leader. Okay. So the leader evades. He can go back one, two, or three hexes. Um, uh, can you go join another unit, though? He can go join another unit. So you can move him back, join this unit. Yeah. You can move him back, that. join that unit, or he can join the elephants. Uh, uh, the elephants uh, don't get quite as much of a benefit from him. No, I'll just comfort. put him there. Well, you may take Spose of War, sir. I'll just, I'll just take it straight away and just, there we go. So, good start. Uh, that was, that was pretty good going. So I should have actually mentioned that like a key tactic in all of these games is to draw better cards and roll better. Like Got that's it. essential. It was a little bit. I should have mentioned that at the start. Okay. That is pretty key okay. to playing well. Well, now you tell me. OK, so yeah, now, now after I've shown you a demonstration of what it looks like. Uh, now I will draw up and hopefully I will get the card I need. Um, We'll I see. Will order medium troops, which lets me order uh -oh. medium foot, medium mounted, equal to my command. My command is four. Mm -hmm. uh, and so I have four. I have one, two, three, four medium troops. Uh, I could jerk. I think I just will do them. I have cavalry way at the back, but I think I'll just do the medium infantry. So he'll come up. We'll go here and here mm. and here. Okay. So these attacks, you're going to want to evade them. Um, I would say I will. Well, hang on. This guy's reduced to a one, though. So why wouldn't I want to clap back on well, him? So they don't actually take it. So the, the penalty to shooting is only range attacks. Moving forward and attacking in melee, they don't suffer a penalty. So he attacks at, at four dice. Yeah, so but I'm going to be able to melee. I'm going to be able to attack back, correct? If you survive. <laughs> Fair enough. I mean, you can do that. You can you can absolutely do that. Okay. Uh, but he hits on double swords, leader symbols, and greens right now. So he hits 50% of the time. If you evade, Sorry. he only hits if he rolls greens. Got it. Okay. 
but you can stick around. Your choice. So yeah, this guy will, <laughs> will try and attack Hamilcar. Uh, he rolls four dice. Hamilcar will Oh yeah, obey. sorry. This card should be out. We have to reshuffle the deck. Oh, shoot. Right. Thank and you. then that should go into the discard on top of it. Thank you. I mean, we are like three cards in, but yeah. <laughs> should have saved that one I for later. I have seen someone in Memoir 44 play their finest hour, which is the equivalent card from that, reshuffle their deck and draw their finest hour. <laughs> it's well it's here's hoping here's hoping i'm getting better at drawing right now yeah, okay so uh so this into hamilcar you decide if you want to evade i, I would think i shall it, evade but... <laughs> i'll take your advice you know, here, it's, it's up to you buddy so he goes um, back to i think i don't know if i roll first or not but he can he can basically go either that way or that way okay hamilcar, and it's, it's the whole unit the unit goes with him yeah i know hamilcar just got okay. detached here he ran that's ahead just to make sure that the coast was clear and so, so he's good roll four and that's one hit because you one ignore hit. the leader symbol because okay. you evaded uh okay if i could get my yes it often wants you to click on the leader and you have to click on the block of the unit behind him um to do the hit Yes, it's give me some issues yeah, here. You kind of have to separate. Uh, I think ooh. I can do it. There you go. You got it. Okay. Yeah, you have to kind of separate them uh, a bit. So then this here into the cavalry, you probably want to do the same thing. Yeah. Just Let's... go back to. So back and not sideways, though, right? Yeah, so you always retreat yeah. towards your side of the yep. board. 100%. Okay. So let's just clear out. Uh, which the thing I forget is not true in, in other war games. Uh, so that's one hit. One hit. Okay. I can probably uh, take that. Take it. Like yeah. My my oh. brain is like in when I'm playing Hex Encounter, I'm like, you oh, oh sorry, yeah. Patrick's reminded me we have to do a leader check because I killed one person in Hamilcar's unit. Uh oh. He's fine. Okay. He's fine. Yeah. So yeah, have again, you have to have there. two leaders. Yeah. In order to, it's very, one very die different. if you completely eliminate the unit he's in, or if he's on his yeah, yeah if completely eliminate it's in, it's one die, but otherwise it's two dice. Excellent. Uh, and um, then any I other should... attacks here. That's it. All right. Over to me. All right, what have I got here? I don't have. Uh, there aren't great options here. What can I say? Um, getting in close combat is probably fun, but let's see. Let's just see here. Uh, da, 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 my command. How am I light mounted? Unit? Or light foot and light mounted. Light mounted. Sorry, includes light cavalry. Correct. Yeah, it should do. Okay, okay. Yeah, light mounted would be your light cavalry. It's generally, if they're like this order medium, they tend to be color coded. So it's all the greens, all the blues, or all the reds. Okay. Got it. Although maybe not elephants included in red, the red one. Right. I don't remember. Ooh, it's a tough call here. So again, you can you can order them, but they don't have to move, but they can attack at range. For most of them. So green units tend to be the units that have ranged attacks. Right. But again, you can uh, order them, but they don't necessarily have to move. No, yeah, you can you can give but them can a, it takes an order to have them shoot, but they stand still and then they'll roll two dice. Got it, got it. Right. Um okay, well let's let's get the show on the road here. We need to bring in some other guys here, and I like the idea of just uh this this might be a little ugly but we'll see what happens here uh boom i gotta order four right units i'm just gonna what's up <gasps> oh no you made it oh no oh we caught we're caught sorry <laughs> we got caught man <laughs> uh hi hi fred H how's it going how's your day man yeah it was a it was a it was a busy day it was a really busy day but it, it went well we went we did everything that we planned to do so that's uh that's all good how is it going I... oh, you're just playing a casual no one's watching or anything you're just playing a casual game of uh of command colors ancients you know nor normal things just What's thought we'd hang out here and play instead, you know? I mean, we have five other platforms we could do it on, but we just thought we'd check it out on here. <laughs> this, way, this way Patrick can correct our rules errors. That's, that's, that's the true. whole reason we're doing this. Yeah, that's that's the thing. It's awesome when Patrick is here when you're playing uh, either Commons and Colors or or Combat Commander. He's always here to uh, to make sure that you that you play properly. So it's uh, it's really nice. It's really nice. Good. But I just want... I, I want... Uh, I, I, I just... Uh, yeah, I'm... Uh, 
I was done and I thought I would just uh, come and say hi and say thanks for, for keeping the channel alive when I was out. Is everything uh, going uh, okay? Who's, uh, who's, who's, playing, who's playing who? So who's playing the Cartaginians? That would be me. Um, so it's going well as far as I think the stream and whatnot, as far as game and strategy. I not so couldn't well. tell you. Uh, probably not. What? The elephants haven't done anything yet. I'm very disappointed. I know. My, my elephants are lazy. I'm sorry. Yeah, but elephants are, are, are pretty... Uh, you, you shouldn't plan around the elephants that much. <laughs> don't tell them I, that. I don't claim to be planning anything here. I'm just <laughs> going. No strategy, just vibes. Just uh, going full tilt into this. Um, what's, the, what's the victory threshold for Bagradas? Seven. Is it seven for each of you? Oh, yep. that's going to be a bloodbath. Okay. That's a, yeah. That's a long one. yeah. <laughs> we'll see what I can get done here. So right now with my Carthaginians, I got four units from my uh, right. Everyone else is left uh, moving in here. Uh, I'm just going to go in and do a bunch of mean stuff, I want to yeah. say here. Um, so I've got four units that I've moved so far. That's like cavalry just kind of hanging out, eh? Maybe I want to bring them in, or do I want to get my warriors moving up? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Um, I think I'll just. Warriors are so slow in this game. Yeah, they're it's slow. Just... I got to get the ball rolling with them. They're kind of like the elephants here. One hex little... and battle units. Yeah. Oof. Yeah. Um, yeah. Otherwise, they got to charge, right? So, so here's what I'm doing. I got a few different attacks going on here. Um, so, this is close combat. Now, and I've got a leader attached. So, if you were me, what would you attack with first? And again, you've got the option to evade, though, I guess, right? Uh, only so only if you attack here to here can I do an evasion. This guy okay. doesn't have an open evasion path. Yep. A medium oh. infantry don't evade. They don't evade. Okay. Well, so. then I'm gonna I'm gonna start with uh, attacking this guy and uh, on. Um, oh, I gotta click on him again. Anyway, he's my target. <laughs> There's my target right there. Yeah. Um, okay. So and I'm. They fight. They fight back. Oh yeah, we've had that. Yep. There's, yeah. there's the, the and, clap and, back. And, and, and this is this is gonna fight back hard. Um I, I wiped out a unit on a battle back already. It was pretty great. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it was pretty fun. It was pretty fun. I just gotta go for it though. <laughs> just YOLO it, baby. Yeah, YOLO. Here we go. And I am rolling because we're in close combat here. I am rolling two dice for green infantry. Two dice for green infantry. All right, well, let's see what I can do. YOLO, baby. Whoa! Yeah. Hey. <laughs> so there's that. That's you told me to roll. He did tell me earlier to roll better. Yeah, so that's I am a, getting better as we go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So then roll two dice to see if you kill the leader. Uh, do I kill the leader? Oh, good call. Of course oh, not. He's fine. He's, yeah. fine. Now he's, he's gonna fine. go back for four dice. Uh oh. Uh, one hit. Two hits for the oh, he hits on double swords oh, as well. Sorry. Yes, two hits. I, I expected it to go way worse, so it's actually a pretty good outcome. That was, that was pretty good. Yeah. So now, how about this cavalry tries the same thing? And uh, am I limited to one battle back per turn? No, I think you can always uh, always battle back uh, for 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 each melee attack as long as okay. you're alive. Great. Yeah, I think so... that was a restriction in like first battle or something anyway yeah so the cavalry are going to be three dice three dice here we go let's go cavalry uh attached to the leader yeah so that's one that's them gone double swords and a leader double swords and leader okay and, and now then roll one one, one dice this time for a leader loss check okay yeah. oh, oh yeah. whoa that's awesome that's pretty bad yeah that's that's pretty bad and um what were you attacking with? Was it medium? That's cavalry? the medium cavalry, so you can That's advance in. in. Yeah, yeah, advance in. Yeah, perfect. And, it, and attack once, again. And you can move one additional if you wish. Sorry, oh, it's you're like talking. You're talking with this guy. Yeah, this guy. Oh, sorry. Yes. Uh, oh, the, so, the light cavalry is also able to do this, but it's so he is in there. You could move him one further. I would not recommend you do it. No, no. Don't and I get then in he can there. attack either of these two. Thank God. Um, Okay, probably I'll... that one because he can't retreat anywhere and you have another attack avenue yeah him. exactly so, so this is three dice again three. okay now he takes two hits because he can't retreat yes uh cannot can can he uh, uh prevent can't go one... sideways he's oh yeah he can ignore the one flag because he's adjacent yeah. to two friends yeah 
That's yeah, yeah. That's why the, oh. the target oh, on the on the right might have been better because he's not adjacent to two other units, so you could break the he line. He could evade though. Yeah. 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 That's true. Yeah. Okay. So uh, he took so he one goes back hit. for two dice. He takes one hit from the double swords. Yeah. Uh, he ignores the one flag because he's adjacent to two friends, but he'll go back for two, uh, which forces you to. Ret- you can ignore both of those, I think, because you have a leader and you're adjacent yeah. to two friends. Leader and supported. Okay. Yeah. Yes, ignore I'll... the flags. I'll stay put. And then this light cavalry can attack him for two of. And I think it so two dice for this uh these guys now. Uh yeah, for the light uh, cav. For, for, for light cavs. Okay, let's go. See what happens. Uh leader. Leader, because you're adjacent to a leader. Yeah. And back for two. Oh uh, light, they don't actually hit on swords because they're uh, uh yeah, there's a class difference. And they, uh, they avoid all swords or just one? Uh these guys don't hit on swords. Okay. They're the the light. They're the crappy light infantry. They don't hit on. Oh yeah. No sword hits. Okay. I know. I so know. we're up there. We're in the mix. And um, okay then. Uh, rock and roll. Ugh! I have so many cards to activate leaders. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, thing. I'm, well, are you down left. to one leader? I'm down to one leader. Regulus. Who's the guy eliminated? He doesn't have a name, does he? No, I don't think he got a name. Sometimes they don't get names. Scrubs. Yeah, really. eh? (laughs) Um, Better to die. uh, Are you planning on on doing a a back and forth? Like uh, changing side after... after No, I just play once. (laughs) Now at the rate we're going here. (laughs) It's late. Yeah, as uh, Patrick uh, mentions, uh, better to die in this battle than end up like Regulus did afterwards. Uh, I don't know the story oh. of Regulus, but if anyone cares to embellish, go right ahead. Poor old Regulus here loses this battle, and I think it doesn't go. It's not great. Okay. Losing battles as a Roman is is pretty embarrassing. All right. Okay, I have inspired right, right leadership. So leader hex and four adjacent linked hexes. So. Regulus and uh, what one, two, three, four. That's legal, right? That's a line. And my boy Regulus. Oh, I really don't want Jason to let that. Yeah. One, two. Here. I think he wants to go and try and pet the elephant. Yeah, probably. One, two, three. Uh, one, two, three, and these auxiliary. They move two, right? No, they move. Yeah, they can move two and not battle, which is fine. One, two. Okay, we got some shots here from my oh, friends. Boy. Make sure that everybody's legally able to shoot. Yeah. So here uh, we'll do no, this one here. The light cavalry for one die into that light cavalry. Uh, for nothing, and then this one here into that same light cavalry for one, for one hit. Oh, brutal. Okay. <laughs> yeah, brutal. That's how. <laughs> That's how this is <laughs> he's, he's down to one. He's down to one. Um, okay, I might need to get one of these. Um, uh, light mounted commands. Light mounted and light foot equal to command. Interesting. Um, so how many games have you played this month, Fred? Of uh, commands and colors? Yeah. So if I take into account, because we had uh, December and January for commands and colors, I played one game of Samurai. I played, I think, three games of Memoir 44. And I played one game of uh, Napoleonics. But I would like to, to play Napoleonics again. Uh, and I hope to to play either medieval or samurai another time before the end of the month, if I'm lucky. So so we'll see. Not as much as I wanted, but I still managed to to play uh, to play uh, to play a bit. It's not Russ's okay. twenty games of memoir now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but uh, yeah, Russ is it's going too far. Uh, and you, Stuart, how many games did you play? Uh, I played eight games of memoir, uh, one game of medieval, and this, and then I'm I'm hoping to make Pierre play battle or first edition with me 
<laughs> but why why are you so obsessed with the first edition one? Because the the second edition one is really really cool. So because the first it... edition one is the one that actually has medieval battles in it. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. So I think oh, it's an interesting kind of comparison point. It's kind of a janky game. I do want to play the second edition, but they're quite different games. Yeah. Uh, the first edition is much more like a, a halfway between Ancients and Memoir. Mm. The, the second edition is actually pretty... Uh, there, it's it, A lot of things is happening in it. Like you have a lot of scenarios, the different factions, you've got a lot of uh, like the magic cards and everything. It's a, it's a pretty rich game. Uh, almost feels like a like a like a mini miniature war game. Yeah. Uh, so it's uh, you know, yeah, it's pretty cool. Have you made your decision, Joe, or are you still thinking? We can. No, we can I've I've thinking. played my card here. Ah, okay. um, move, oh, fire, move, move. Mm, or nice. light foot and light mounted units equal to command, which is six. They may move, then fire, then move again. Um, the doll of fire must take place before the movement happens for the second time. It sounds like uh, after all range fire units may move again, no battle is possible after the second move. So then they can't move in and then do a melee close combat, right? Um, move through a friendly unit. Okay, cool. So, and then move, I guess, is just whatever their move limit is, right? So this is, this is a good thing to do to go in, hit, and retreat. Yeah, so you can walk up and shoot, or you can activate people who are already in shooting range and shoot and then... Uh, walk away oh okay good call good call but still there is going to be that clap back right and not at missile range yeah not a missile you're, range. So yeah, you're doing missile point. attacks not close combat attacks yeah got it so these will all be missile attacks now you can't yeah, shoot you someone if you're adjacent to them so if any of these yeah would have to move back first right so moving out okay okay so if I do something like, hmm, let's see here. So I can have a total of six moving here, or six activated anyway. Um, let's move these guys more. So move them in. I will move. OK, so ordered units. OK, whoops. Yeah. Okay, ordered. Okay, I see it gets the halo around it. That's what I want to do. Order. Order. Oh, I was just looking at the situation and yeah, he's got that you've got that line of heavy infantry in the back. That's um um... I do, yes. I haven't had much to activate them with just yet though. <laughs> Nothing too exciting going on there. Um so order, order, order. Um might as well. Order Can this you have guy. Of how many? Four or five? I have six. 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 Woo. Yeah. So. When oh I yeah, and this? I can see that. Yeah, it is. It's too hard. You have. You have. You have four with the Romans. So. Yeah. Rome does not win this battle. No. <laughs> right. Okay. So let's just move everyone. And I don't feel like we're going to now. Oh wait, I don't want to. No, no. He has good cards. Yeah, on top of that. Uh, yeah. Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's nice. So that's the only movement I'll do. But then if I want to shoot my... with this cavalry. He has to move as well. Oh, okay. So I'll just. But then he can't shoot when he's in. When he's in melee. Yeah. Then this guy's in. You can shoot into spies. a melee. It's not that kind of game. <laughs> so you can ignore him. You can move back one and shoot that target if you want. Okay, maybe I'll do that because I I don't like the idea of leaving this guy hanging. So why don't and then you can move you can move him back into that spot after yeah. you shoot because your move fire move. Oh, okay, good call. Yeah, exactly. It's the same with the light infantry that you moved away. You could move away, fire, uh, and then move back. Probably in. move him away and move him in. Yeah, because that's only got one strength. Yeah, exactly. That's that's the the goal here right now. You'll so retreat this... a one strength block mm -hmm. move, yeah. which is even more annoying in this game because there's no air power barrage cards. Yeah, yeah, you cannot <laughs> and, and get it. You can't just yeah drop him behind the lines there. Um, okay, so this guy, this cavalry is just going to roll one or two here. Yeah, on, one die on. for the ones that moved. Yeah, but okay. you just need one of it. Yeah, and I do not get it because we got away no. from it later. All right, there's so... no leader hits on range checks. Yeah, boo. Um, roll one in there. Yeah. Uh, hit. One hit. All right, sorry, let me clear this. Uh, marker. Marker. Um, I'll do another. 
attack yeah. target. Let's uh, one more there. No swords, swords on no range. Swords. Boo. All right. Uh, what else can I do here? Let's start chiseling away at these guys here. Right. So another... These two didn't move, right? So there'll be two. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, good call. And this one did move, so he'll be one. So here he'll, he'll be, be shooting yes. for two. Yeah, okay. Let's do that. Uh, nada. Nope. Uh, let's try this one. One. one hit. Take it down a notch. Okay. And, and then now... one hit for the guy in the end. Yeah. Not one hit, but one, one die. One, one die, yeah. Maybe, maybe hit. you hit. No. Uh, not a hit. No, not too great. So I can still move again. So I can yeah, move. Yeah, because the move, fire, move, those units can now move again. Move back in. Back in, back in, and hmm, I think I'll keep the rest of these guys here, though. Okay. You you come and get it when you want it. All right, clear movement tracks, and I will ding, ding, and draw my card. See what you can do. And I'll let you do it. Good luck. Right. To you. I think it's going to be, uh, it's gonna be <laughs> looking at your it's gonna situations. It's going to be a long day. <laughs> I don't think it's going to be that long, to be fair. I think <laughs> you're pretty close to a potential collapse here. Look. But, uh, look. Yeah. <laughs> have uh, have fun, Joe. Crush him. Uh, and uh, and have a great evening. And thanks again. Fred's for... just jealous because he doesn't beat me on stream. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fred's, Fred's just so chill because he doesn't have to worry about anything right now. He can just poke in and uh, talk trash and then leave. That's yeah, uh, exactly. pretty nice gig. Yeah? Nice and now I'm going to bed. Actually, I'm already okay. in bed, but uh, okay. <laughs> Ooh, good night. It's that I kind find... of stream. Yeah. <laughs> well, right. You announced that I'm opening an OnlyFans. That's it. That's that's what you said. <laughs> oh, you heard I'm it going first. Away now. I, 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 see you. See you. Cheers. Hey, I am also going to play a move fire move. Oh, look at you, eh? Light foot. Yeah, light look at that. Foot. So oh, I get so four. So let's see how. Oh yeah, pro does bring it. the pain. So. Four units. Oh yeah, that, 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 and uh oh, four. Okay, first off, this guy in the far end is gonna shoot for two into that light cavalry. Oh no, I should have probably yeah. Yes, got so him. He's only got one block left, so I take him. Done. Yep. Take him to my collection. Uh, this one here. We'll shoot that light cavalry. Yeah, you will. I will roll exactly the same thing, which always makes me feel like I'm going insane on this. So it's one hit. So one hit there. Okay. Yeah. Uh, next? Here, we're going to shoot the elephants. Come oh, on. no. Flags. Flags. Uh-oh. All right. Uh-oh. So. <laughs> Elephant rules. <laughs> what does that mean? You should just get a Spring Patrick in here to explain how. <laughs> so the trampling, okay, the elephant trampling. Oh, I've got that somewhere here too. I have it open somewhere, but I've lost it. I had elephants here for a second. Elephants. Elephant combat. Um, well, is it elephant hits, right? Uh, yeah, an elephant will not receive morale benefits. Oh, it might be under retreats. Okay, so he rolls two dice for each adjacent oh. unit and hits them. So you have one adjacent unit. Just so roll guy. two dice, you hit them on greens. Uh oh. And it'll trample them. Oh. No. Just hits on greens, that's and it. And then he yeah, just matching symbols, and then he he does he then retreats. So retreats. he'll retreat into that space. Just one, okay. Yeah. I think or does he elephants, how far do you retreat? Yeah, the everyone retreats different distances is yeah, just one. And then C below. Oh, yeah. And if he can't retreat, then he actually hits people behind him. He doesn't take it. Right. Got it. Yeah, he'll trample them uh, all the way through. And then okay. last last shot is this light cavalry all the way on the left against that light cavalry. Uh, interesting. Uh, you retreat. Uh, light cavalry retreat four hexes. Whoa, really? Eh? Yeah. Yeah. 
Ooh, all the way home. Look at those guys. Jeez. It's it's really bad if you get a lot of flags rolled against you. Because <laughs> you hit the edge of the board, and if you can't retreat further, you take hits. Oh, right, right. Yep. So, uh, okay. Okay, this is what it is. Oh, then I can move again. I have I have move, fire, move. Oh, yeah. So, Uh-oh. Um, hmm. This cavalry is going to go... One... Yeah, I think I'm not going to move very aggressively. Fair enough. Oh, just holding the line, huh? Hold the line. Moving slightly out of missile range for all of these hmm. jerks. Interesting. Well. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right, then. Um, what have I got? What have I got? Um, oh, this is interesting then. How about I do? Hmm. Yeah, Patrick has called the attention to the, the secret of ancient terrain is that uh, there's no hills, but everything is fought at the edge of a cliff. So if you retreat, oh. uh, you fall off the cliff. Exactly. Yeah, that makes sense. There's cliffs all around. This is this is a flat mountain top that we are duking it out uh, on top of. Apparently, okay. It's just an island yeah. surrounded by sea uh, that is completely flat, and that is where yeah. all ancient battles have been fought. Yeah. Where they Spy mutually agreement. agreed, let's meet at this place. It's going to take us days to get there. We're going to be tired and hungry, but then we'll just fight here. Like, you know, lines, of logistics, and supply are all cut off. But got it. Fall off the end of the earth. Then it's literally the end of the earth. You fall into Hades. Um, all right, well, let's have a bit more fun with these elephants. Um, order two units in the center. One will be, haha. -ha. And uh, actually, no, I'm not getting, not the elephants just yet. Let's uh, order Hamilcar. <laughs> I know, I know. But so these guys, let's get them up one, two, because they are going to attack these guys. Yeah. And then let me get Hamilcar. Uh, just in here. How how sorry? How far can like uh, so you can move to move to? Okay, let's he's just green. He's on a green unit now, so you can move to. He's put him there. So let's get these guys uh, attacking on the targets here. And I'm going, going to choose two evade. Let's choose two evade. All right, that's one one. Okay, all right. So you so still I'm... roll. Uh, let me double check how warriors work. Is there a bit? Warriors are pretty. Uh, black, so you yeah. you have full health, so you're gonna hit for four dice. Oh wow! Uh, but I now ignore everything that doesn't match my symbol. So you're looking just for greens because I have eight. Okay, four dice. Warriors trying to throw spears in your back. Only hit one. Uh, it doesn't. You don't hit on the leaders when you're evading. Got it. Makes sense. So you just took one there. Uh, okay. Unless Patrick that. tells me that it's wrong, and then you do. <laughs> <laughs> nope. I'll take your word for it here. Uh, draw a card, and then ding, ding. Over to you. Oh, this hand. This hand. <laughs> Can't blame the hand, man. All right. Why can I do some actual damage, though? <laughs> Yikes. So you're supposed to draw better. Is that the advice you gave me? Yeah, I'm not. I'm actually doing pretty badly at following my own advice. That's. I'm. I'm as embarrassed as you are. That's all I can say. I I have a really good card that would be really useful if you hadn't killed my leader in my left flank. <laughs> that, I, that was, was that was a plan all along. Go after the leader. Go after the leader and roll good. Really good tech on your part. I'm yeah. I'm impressed. You've learned well, my Padawan. <laughs> at, at rolling. I'm gonna and play. I'll forget rally it all tomorrow. I'm uh -oh. Going to read what it does. <laughs> roll dice equal to command for each unit type or leader symbol rolled. One unit block in the leader's hex or in an adjacent hex is rallied, which restores them, and then they can be ordered. So I get to roll four dice. Oh, that could have been better. So I get two greens. So this loser here gets to recover two hits. Really wanted some blues there so that I could heal this medium infantry. And then I guess I will just move him up one, and I'll take a shot for one dice at this light cavalry. Fun times. And not do not do any hits. Not do anything. Okay. All right then. 
Um, let's see. We got a lot of action happening right now in the middle, which is pretty fun. Um, let's see so here. Patrick's asked about the light infantry against elephants. I guess one kind of advantage is that elephants actually take their combat dice from the unit they're attacking. So they only roll two dice against light infantry because like they they copy the dice of their target so the way they roll five dice against heavy infantry but two dice against light infantry so i think that kind of captures a little bit of the the asymmetry of, about how elephants are what they're more effective against i think i don't actually know very much about ancient history so <laughs> or anything, elephants. anything pre like 1000 ad is not it's not my area <laughs> right okay well let's see here um I might order. Hmm. Okay, so I'll get right in the middle of that action, huh? Hmm. <laughs> well, let's try that attack down the middle again. We got four this time. Let's make. Cards. Yeah. Drawing pretty nice here. Um, elephants, elephants, <laughs> elephants. Um, or that one, and yes, at least order one elephant. So those guys have to go two before they attack, don't they? The warriors, warriors, yeah. Well, they can move one and attack, they can only move two if it, if they are going to be they are then going to attack, right? So they can move one and attack like normal medium infantry, but they get an extra move if it puts them into melee, so they kind of charge an extra hex. Got it. I don't know that I'm making the best decisions here. You got that little pocket that's inviting me in with the little guys that are losing losing dudes left and right. I don't know that it really matters if you're making the best decisions. <laughs> Maybe it does. <laughs> uh, and then, sorry, again, elephants can go for... Two. Two. Yeah, two. All right, let's get them in there. And you don't want to move good. in and attack someone now? Uh, oh, they can only do close, eh? Oh, yeah, there's yeah. no no oh, shooting on elephants. Duh. Sorry, that's the two there. Duh. What am I thinking? And I'll just get one movement in there. So let's first attack on these guys, and I will roll. Uh, I will stay. I will stay and okay. let you attack me. Okay, for two or three dice here? Two dice for the green. Two dice for the green, all right. Hey, Ugh. I'll take it. <laughs> I do at least get the battle back because I took uh, it. That's true. Two for one hit. One hit back. You're right. green. Yeah. Uh, take a hit. And now these the guys. Warriors will roll four. Four. Yeah. See if we can finish them off. And I'll go after that same target. Yeah. That's a good call. Hey. That'll, that'll do, do it. So warriors. Uh, will function. Uh, they can move into this space and then they can attack again. And they will. That's, I mean, and that's the targets the right will do those guys. Yes, they will four. evade because Patrick has informed me that I can evade one. So. <laughs> okay. You still get to roll four. You're looking for, for two greens to them. Okay. I still rolled the four though. Yep. Yeah. Go. Oh, okay. What kind of roll is well, that? Now I feel kind of... foolish, but yeah. No, oh, whatever. <laughs> can you, you got out of harm's way. Do? Uh, okay, so these guys will attack. Uh, this target, these elephants roll. I'm going to oh. first play a first strike card. Uh oh, uh oh. So I, I roll my attack before your attack. Oh dear, okay, roll away. So I roll four for medium infantry. Uh oh, that's bad. Oh, uh, one hit and one retreat. Now, I think you do still rampage me because it's all adjacent units, so you roll two dice. Okay. Because you're still shooting. Okay. Uh, he only has one hit, so. Oh, nothing. And then so you re retreat uh, but then one, I, one X. Then I can't. But that does attack. stops you attacking, yeah. Got it. Fair enough. All right. Well, then this guy will do the attack next and try and finish that same one off. Yeah. But that's just one die looking die. for one mm -hmm. blue. One blue. See what we can do here. Nada. Okay. Um, okay. That is that. Um, Oh my, interesting card. And 
Done. Oh, I'm okay. one up on you barely. How am I even doing this? I don't know. <laughs> okay, okay. Now we are going to play outflanked, two on each oh. flank. Got it. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, I should have drawn a card. <laughs> yeah, wait for a strike. <laughs> Sorry, oh, you... you should have drawn first. I, I, I yeah, I should, I should have because I was playing one card down. Mm. Hold on, you played. Uh, I'm gonna. Sh you know how? No, I have that card, but you played an order four center units. Yes, I did. So I'm going to accidentally get my first strike card stuck there. Okay, uh, and counterattack your four in the center. That's much better for me. Oh, so counterattack the four that were just ordered, yeah. which are. Just so we are clear, it's these ones. Yeah. So it's four. Oh. Yeah. Well, so so I I just get to do four of my units in the middle. I play your oh. card that you just played. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah. So it's it's just yep. I get to play whatever card you played, which uh, for me is much more useful. So this guy up here. Um, oh. And. I mean, let's go for broke. Okay, now I have the warrior by Pat Benatar. Is it? That's in my head. <laughs> These warriors. Anyway. Oh, going right in there, eh? Elephants yeah, and all. I'm trying to decide. Let, let's play the cut off your retreat game. That's usually that's usually good for a bit of fun. Oh, interesting. I see what you're doing there. Okay, this is ruining my formation, but I don't know if it matters very much. So. <laughs> Uh, these heavy infantry will attack your warrior infantry. Uh, yeah, I roll five dice. Oh, so good, let's eh? just hope it goes well for me. That's pretty good. That's pre that's, that's pretty good. They're done. They're <laughs> toasted. Absolutely dusted off those warriors. Well, they're a little crazy just running okay, in there like so that. Let's, just, let's be honest. Uh, I, I mean, will overtake forward, but for. I don't get to attack. Uh, okay. Because that's a cavalry or with a leader, or if your warriors move. Um, Got it. This medium infantry will attack those levy infantry. They can choose to evade, or light infantry. They can choose to evade. Uh, they will. So, so go back two hexes. Two hexes. Uh, I will go back to here. Okay, and you I still get to roll. Four. But you ignore all of that. You ignore flags. You ignore anything that's okay. not a green well, symbol. Would only been a hit. Yeah. Okay. Got it. And here I will try and attack the elephants. Uh oh no, the elephants! So well. Four from me into the elephants. Uh, that's a retreat. So let's do. Let's see if the elephants trample <laughs> me to death as I make them retreat. Okay. So you, you roll, roll two that. dice for my medium infantry. Okay. Two dice. Uh, nope. No, you need the symbol, and then two dice for Hamilcar. Uh oh! You do kill one of Hamilcar's guys. Yikes! Uh, Does that do take it? There you go. Boom! He's hurt. Okay, and, and they go retreats, back one. He retreats one hex. Yeah, one hex. Uh, okay, there we go. Just and checking if you have to check for a, a leader, leader loss. Oh, do you on a trampling of an elephant? Just roll two dice, and if you if it happens, then I'll check the rules. <laughs> okay. Because it feels like uh, no, yeah, so okay. Okay. Does, just doesn't matter. Roll. Okay. Um. Cool. And then that I think is everybody. So that is everyone. Okay. Okay. All right. Um. This is interesting. And then, so let's just the foot units and or this one into an adjacent block. All the units may move. These guys are. Four. So I think this one's interesting. I think I'll just play it just to. Show a new card here. Uh, issue an order of four or less foot units. All light units may move two hexes and may engage in close combat. Medium heavy units may move two and still engage in close combat. Warriors may move two or three hexes but must engage. So there's 
move to and close. Yeah, for... and they almost be uh, adjacent to each other. Oh, okay. Maybe that's not the best idea then. Um, it's under four or less foot units in a block adjacent link taxes. So you need like a block of four or fewer. It doesn't have to be all four. Well, okay. No, let's. Uh... So I don't think you have any good clusters of four, but you have some threes, I think. Well, what's what's uh? Like these three or three. Well, what about the ones uh, connected to the handle car here? Because it's foot units. They're all foot units here. Like boom, boom, oh, yeah. boom, boom. I think that's a line and you need adjacent links. It's a block. I would assume it's much more like you need like, right. like this block here. Got it. All right. Although so I would say because it lets you move heavy infantry two and heavy infantry can never move two. Just moving these two guys two forward is honestly not a bad move. Uh, heavy okay. infantry are really good, but they are painfully right. slow. Foot units. That's uh, four or less, but they have to be in a block. Okay. Yeah, so you'd only be getting two, but you would be getting to double time move that two heavy infantry. Gotcha. Gotcha. Um, I feel like I need to do something else here, though. Um, I'm I'm gonna play it safe for now. Sorry, I need to regroup a little bit in uh, in the right here. So I got two units uh, that I will I'll move these guys back and these guys to light cavalry can move against three. Is it? Like four, four. Okay. So well, you can move do... them all the way to here, and yeah, take a pot shot. Yeah, I'm gonna take a little shot little at that guy. It's just one, but I'll I'll just take a one, shot from yeah. there. One and six. And nope. Nothing good there. Okay. And it's what it is. Just had to regroup and showed a bit Someone of my hand, but that's okay. Fred Sterval is in the chat. I don't know what his deal is, but who let that guy in here? I know. Absolutely monstrous. He's um, distracting the audience. Scandalous. <laughs> now let's see. Seven and a half. Oh, I gotta drop one yet. What do I do? What do I do? I think I just keep like mindlessly shoving this poor one guy forward. I feel kind of bad for him. Uh, but we'll attack. We'll attack in the center. Sorry, uh -oh. attack in the center. So three in the center. Uh, you uh, clicking things like a fool. You and <laughs> oh no, trying to you. take some elephants. Let's try and hit some elephants. Oh, no. For four. Four, eh? Oh, that's pretty good. What's up? I think oh. I just kill the elephants. Because those guys Double hit swords. on swords. Double swords. I hit on swords. I don't think elephants have anything that lets them ignore sword. two, two swords. Do they trample people uh, on their way out? No, no. They ignore all sword hits. Yeah. Maybe I don't then. So they that's retreat, what the, That's what the player raid says. So we're going to do some trampling. All right. So... Uh, you so now you're adjacent to three. So first, see if you <laughs> trample uh, my yeah. poor guys first. Yeah, there's only one left. Yeah, yeah. you just need a single blue. Nope. nope. Okay. Trampling Hamilcar. Hamilcar. Ow. More Hamilcars. Oh, and then he probably gets a uh, gets another leader loss. Yeah, I think so. Well, let's just see what happens. It's probably not gonna happen, but no, he's fine. It's fine. And then, and he's then got, and the other the elephant, ele the other elephants. <laughs> an elephant trample an elephant. Is that how this works? Oh my god! No, thank God. Okay, yeah, and then he retreats. They retreat that one space. Yeah. So, well, got And then I will attempt to attack uh, into uh -oh. Hamilcar. Uh, you can That's choose to problem. evade. That's I'm going to evade. The right call. Got to go back too, right? Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. And then you're still I gonna roll hit. Uh, four dice. I don't do any hits. Oh, Hamilcar, you're showing your. <laughs> but anyway, these guys now can't attack. Or sorry, these guys could technically attack over here, right? Uh, they don't have any ranged attacks. They're they're just they don't. infantry. Oh, okay, okay. Usually, just green infantry have ranged attacks. So all right, all right. So which is my left again? <laughs> okay, this is interesting. <laughs> Come in. Um, okay. What is that? Light point, light mounted. Let's see then. I 
I do have to get those heavy guys moving, don't I? Um, well, let's see what happens here. I think I'll do the uh, order light troops here. Oh, there, actually worked this time. Or light troops. Um, I should order the light and light mounted uh, equal to command. And they can move through a friendly unit, which is interesting. Um, equal to command, so six. So let's. Or... You have seven light troops. So you just pick one to not activate. It's probably going to be Hamilcar. I don't know. So something um, that you can choose to do with a normal activation, you can't do it now because he's not a light troop, but you can choose to activate Hamilcar and move him off that unit as an as an order. Oh, good call. So um, if you had like an order two in the center, you could use one of them to move Hamilcar off the unit. Um, but he's not a light troop, so you can't uh, use this to separate him. Okay, well, I'll order this guy. And uh, what was it? Was it and... I think that's it. I think that's all I'm going to do. I don't see any point in moving him off. I don't believe. So yeah, let's just do that. Just go. Mm -hmm. it's quite the amount of stuff I got going on. Do I want anyone else to move here? They can remind me so late. Hmm. So they, they would shoot with one less effectiveness if they move. That's right. Okay. They're only shooting with one anyway. Yeah. Well, the ones who don't move shoot for two. Ones that don't move shoot for two. Okay. I think I'll leave it at that then. So what I'll do is I will first off target that guy. He's going to only roll for one. Yeah, because he moved. Ah, nothing. All right, so then this friend will shoot for two. Yeah, I'll shoot for two. Same guy, same target. Retreat. He yeah, can't. And he can't retreat, so he's eliminated. Okay, I'll take that. Um, next will be. That's. Uh... He can shoot for two into the medium infantry. Yeah. Which is really your best bet. I think. Uh... Yeah, okay, let's do that first. You're right. Uh, order that unit. Oops. He's ordered already. Attack. Okay, come on. Attack. Target. All right, boom. Uh, roll for two. Uh, not attached to anything. No swords. Okay. Yeah, you don't get generals or swords on range checks. Yeah. So let's try with this guy. The same yeah. target. Rolling for two. Nope. Nada. Oh, this guy is indestructible. Brutal. I know, eh? Just sitting there in the middle. One left, down to one. All right, well then, uh, this guy will shoot uh, this target for two. Yep. Not, uh, indestructible. not good rules, all right? I'll admit it. <laughs> it was not my fault. Yeah, I took it one block, but maybe that's all I can really hope for sometimes. Okay, sir, what do you got? I'm just, I'm keeping, I'm pushing down this middle. Oh, yeah. Two in the middle. So you always got that. Just keep going, buddy. I believe in you. Um, uh oh. That's a problem. No, do I want to keep moving up like that? No, I'd be reckless. Yeah, let's be reckless. Uh, so uh, here, into this one elephant. Let's do it. Uh, one, two, three, four dice. We kill the Done. elephant. The elephant, the poor, poor elephant. So, what did he do to you? Elephant. What did he do to you? Yeah, mostly he stomped Hamilcar to death, which actually. Look, you know, okay. He's, he's probably my friend if we get down to it. <laughs> That's so, true. That is here true. into here. Uh, Patrick P has gone away to get food, so I don't know how the evading oh, no. execute works. Well, um, so I could evade, but I'm just going to evade into a spot where you can still attack me. So I don't think there's a point. Yeah, I think 
Otherwise, I don't know it if is... that counts as an evade if I'm still next to you. Yeah, probably not. Maybe it still does. I think it happens after I attack. Oh, because we're, they are evading. They're just hiding in the adjacent forest. Yeah. Well, sorry, there's no forest. This is just a grand it's a flat <laughs> the, the adjacent top. dirt. Adjacent pile of dirt over here. All right. They dodged. They dodged the spears a little. Yeah, I see. It I looks don't... like you can. So I would say, I presume you evade. I want to leave. How about this? I don't want to do that because I want to leave space to retreat. Okay. Uh, well, you don't. You ignore flags if you evade, so you wouldn't have to retreat. Oh, okay. Well, Although you could still yeah. stay to choose to battle back for two dice, plus you're adjacent to a leader if you wanted, but it's still a bit... Mm. I, I'd probably am I, oh, I am adjacent to a leader, yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, shoot. Did I roll a leader symbol when I rolled the... Okay, never mind. I won't evade. Let's see what happens. Do your worst. Yeah, the leader, you lower the leader symbol, but it doesn't apply to ranged attacks. Got it. Uh, uh, so that would be one hit for the swords, uh -huh. for you not evading, and then you would roll back for two. Okay, let's see what happens. Uh, you don't hit on swords because you're light infantry, so... Got it. Okay. We hang out. Okay, that's... I've killed an ele elephant. I will mm -hmm. treat that as a moral victory. Yeah, might as well. Eh? Okay. Um, let's... Also, pursue things down the middle here, too. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's, it's, this, is a, this is a battle. So three will be... Uh, order, order, order. It's probably the right call. Yep. So okay. this elephant can move too, so we can actually move to there. Not a bad idea. Let's do that. So let's first this guy on that guy. That's five a lot of dice. Five dice. That's but I can move in then, right? Or can they advance after? They can advance, but they can't attack after. They can't attack. Okay. But you probably still want to advance because they're really slow. Yeah, might as well. Eh? Five dice. Here it goes. That'll do it. Yep. So uh, will... And then he can move forward, but he can't. He'd have to have a leader on his to attach to him to make an attack. Okay, no problem. So these elephants on these guys, which is. Yeah. Uh, so you roll how many dice? I roll. So you roll four dice against the medium infantry because the medium infantry rolls four dice. Okay, gotcha. Um, that's you are adjacent to a leader, to so a that leader. is a hit, a single hit. Yeah, yep. and then I will do that Same with those elephants. Four dice. With, yeah, four dice. Uh, uh, so a, I will take a hit and two retreats. How far do I retreat each? I think. So I retreat one hex, but I retreat two hexes total. So I will go one, two. Now the elephant could move in there and then be normally eligible to a battle, but because he can only move into that hex, you wouldn't be adjacent it, to me anymore. So yeah, I'm, I'll and they're not cavalry, so they don't get the extra move. Yeah, that's fine. Totally fine. Leave them there. Elephants are leading the charge. All right, then. Um, cool beans. That was my three in the middle. Lovely. Let's do that. And let's ding ding over to you. We are I am two away from victory and probably cutting it way more closer than the original Carthaginians did, but whatever. Okay. Uh oh. Uh, attacks Heavy. from each side. Nope, not you. Oh. oh my god. Clear the markers. Whenever I click on them. Anyway, so on the let's go. You on two and we'll activate you. And over on this side. Remember what's in my hand. Uh, you will go one, two, and you will go one, two, three. Mm -hmm. So uh, here, attacking into that light cavalry, you can choose to evade. I only roll two dice. But if I roll flags, it's pretty bad for you. Although you um, can ignore a flag, so. Which one here? The uh, the uh, here and to there. Yeah, okay, I will evade. But I'm not. Yeah, you move back to. I roll two. I get nothing. Okay. Uh, this archer he didn't or light infantry didn't move is going to shoot that light cavalry for two. Uh oh, that's a problem. He gets nothing. 
here yeah. and to here. You can choose to evade or not. And you got to uh, go back to back to. Yeah. Uh, I won't evade. OK. Uh, so you take one hit and you have to retreat. Take it. But I still battle back first. You retreat so that you don't get to battle back. Oh, OK. Got it. Got it. Yeah. Uh, how you, you might retreat to. Oh, uh, that's not the play raid. That's my hand. Light infantry. Yeah, you retreat to exit. So I'm cavalry, so yeah. I can overtake into there, and then I can move one more and then battle. Oh, really? Yeah, that's actually that getting good. a bit complicated. But let's 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 attack elephants. I like attacking elephants. Oh elephant. no! So uh -oh. attack elephants for three. Uh, that's one hit. You, you ignore swords. Yeah, got it. Uh, and I don't. I'm no longer adjacent to the leader, so I don't hit on leaders. Got it. All right. What am I gonna do here? Um, and then the warriors can go two in must attack. Oh, sorry. The elephant should battle back. Oh yeah, and battle back with how many? Just whatever they Three. hit with. Three. Oh, whatever God. you were hit with. Do that. Oh, I'll knock it down big for one. Yeah. Don't mind if I do. Um, what do I gotta do? I've gotta clear out one more of these fools, huh? Um. Let's see here. Oof, tough call. I got some pretty text heavy cards yeah lock so all adjacent linked hexes what lock no that's not worth doing right now is it um i think i might just need to use the yeah i guess that one sorry it's clicking and just doing it for me so on my left my left your right um let's go so you have three on your left, yeah. right? Yeah, but it's then this three. guy can only move one, right? Yeah. All right, all right. So I'm going to have to move this guy in. I want this guy here, and this guy won't move. This guy's only going to roll for one on the mounted? Two. Two for me. He's in melee, so he'll roll for two. two. Okay, but he did move, but he's still going to move two. Okay, see what happens. Uh, I think... So I can choose to evade against a foot unit. Okay. But I will not. I will well uh, no, I just mm -hmm. let's YOLO it. I won't I won't evade. YOLO. Let's go. Um, okay. Just, just don't roll two blues. Okay, oh, one, one blue. blue. One blue. And then I battle back for three. Uh oh. Uh, uh is one hit and you retreat two X's. Retreat two. Uh and takes a hit. Okay. And then you have a missile shot with this guy. With the uh, heavy? Two. Or just with the, the... No, with the light cavalry. Yeah, because they don't have range, range, do they? Okay, missile yeah, shot. Heavy down don't have range, so you can do two yeah. shots into him, yeah. Oh, sorry. You can two, roll, you right? roll two dice. So yeah, okay. Roll another die. I'll, I'll roll a second one, and that's the hit. Okay. Right, takes so that's something. All right. Um, back to you. Someone has pointed out that I could have ignored that flag that limited with one of my units, but I didn't, and that's fine. <laughs> I forgot that he was adjacent, and that lets you ignore flags, which is one of the really fundamental changes to a lot of the, the heavier Command and Colors games yeah. that isn't in Memoir. Uh, I will attack in the center. Oh, no, not again. Drawn a lot of attack in the center, which I like. Mm -hmm. It's a good, mm -hmm. it's a goodie. Let's go there. Let's just. Oh, be... no. Oh no! No, I saw that. I saw that. What? <laughs> Your funeral, but that was actually very smart. <laughs> okay, let's let's wow. pretend my cavalry are actually tanks and just just do it. Okay. Yeah. So in there, eh? uh, this heavy infantry into this elephant. Uh, oh, we are rolling like five dice. Don't I evade or no? elephants don't evade? All oh, right, takes the hit. They're done. So, you got yeah, them. We kill the elephants. elephants. Damn. Um, Advance. I will choose not to take ground. I don't think. No. 
uh, this cavalry into that light infantry. They can't evade because there's nowhere to evade to. Yep. This is bad. Four okay, dice? So three. Three. Three dice. I kill them. Oh. And then this I get to overtake. Not going the Carthaginian will, way. Um, oh, no. <laughs> attack this one guy who can <laughs> evade. I think he he's going to probably should. Absolutely should. Back two or one? Two. And then we're going to roll three dice, but we're going to roll three and we're going to kill him. <laughs> Brutal. Which Brutal. wins me the game. I'm really oh. petty, and I'm going to roll against this evading <laughs> Avatar. <laughs> I presume it's going to You just want to finish him. Yeah. All right, all right. Fair enough. <laughs> Technically, it doesn't matter, but yeah. I, uh, and, and then I don't actually kill Hamilcar. But... Uh, oh, uh, Hamilcar doesn't die, but his units do, but that's yeah. pretty funny. All um, right. Okay. So, like Cavalry, I say, Cavalry, the tanks of the ancient world. That's that's how you use them. So, did you? <laughs> Where are my cavalry? They didn't. Eh, I, I use my light cavalry more. I was more comfortable with the light than the medium or the heavy. My heavies were barely starting to move there as it was. Okay. I was starting to think of maybe one day possibly getting them in position. But you're right; they are slow, so it takes a little they're while. Very good when they get there because of that five dice. But they they're very slow to <laughs> come yep. up. Yeah, yeah. So you brought them in, you dusted off two of my elephant units, and oh, there it is. All right, where's the table flip button on here? That was brutal. <laughs> um, cool. Well, <laughs> good times, man. This is, you're seeing it. Um, only so, 13 people are witnessing my demise, but. <laughs> but uh, so this is your first time playing Ancients. What yes, do you think is. of it, having come just from memoir? Uh, I like it quite a bit. Um, yeah, the lack of terrain, I guess, made it easier, but then I still think I need to wrap my brain around what all the different types of units can do. They're moving, like the range is a lot more um, flexible, I think, in that the, the warriors running in and, and shooting and the number of yeah. dice, too, I think. That's, that's the other thing, too, is the actual number of dice is still a little bit hard for me to parse it's uh and again i'm used to using it on the the board game arena thing where it tells you in advance hey you're gonna do this and that so it's it's got some instruction along the way but uh but anyway yeah joe is taking the place of fred today uh yeah taking one on the chin against stuart stuart you're pretty brutal at these right you've got uh what's your head I, I, count I've now i played a lot i so Russ did beat me he, he ended my streak i think i went uh okay. eight games undefeated in memoir and then Russ beat me so he's the real champion here. Yeah, I think it's that play. That play in twenty four games of memoir will get you real good at it. Like, <laughs> I think so. Eh? But it's I like one of things I like about the system is it is quite easy to play and it's quite straightforward. But there is quite a lot of strategy in it as well. And yeah, uh, it's and this there's a lot of little extra complexities that I like in Ancients, and I think it makes it one of the best versions. So this is maybe maybe the best. Okay. Uh, I like memoirs. Memoirs probably my favorite because I like how stripped down it is and how easy it is. To yeah, play. that's true. Um, but the kind of extra depth of things like all of the cards that trigger off how many cards you have in your hand makes that layer extra layer of the fact that you have six and I have four really show up a bit more in the game. I like that. I like the unit variety and the strategy of battle backs and how the leaders are positioned and the loss of a leader on the left. Cause I had this mm -hmm. I, in my opening hand, I had the inspired leadership on the left flank <laughs> and then you killed and my leader. Got and rid it was of leader. basically <laughs> okay. useless. Okay, and I need to wrap my brain around the hexes, the blocks, so and stuff too, the the, the adjacents yeah. and stuff. I think I had a good one coming up, or maybe I didn't use it uh, early enough, or something like that. Yeah, but, that uh, takes a while to get used to that kind of like because you activate through lines of adjacent units or clusters of adjacent units, and yep. it kind of reflects more of that. You know, you're standing shoulder to shoulder formations yep. that you want to maintain for really the first kind of chunk of the battle, and then you kind of open up late in the battle when things start falling apart and got it. you can start kind of pushing it a bit more but yeah it's got an interesting formation element in those cards but that's something that's very not obvious from the rule book because it's it's in the cards it's not in the the rule book doesn't say keep your units next to each other it's going to be really important but when you start drawing those cards it becomes uh very important to the to the strategy so it's it's an interesting game. It is much more punishing in a lot of ways than something like Memoir is. And mm -hmm. uh, it has that extra complexity. You have to learn all the units. And it was pretty difficult, a little bit difficult coming to it from Medieval, where like everything is slightly oh, tweaked. Yeah. Like the cavalry is a little bit better. So like the medium cavalry, uh, Medieval, they, they, they have more blocks. They do more things. Uh, they're slightly harder to kill. And the infantry works a little bit differently. So there's lots of little tiny tweaks between them that I have to kind of remember. And I probably did not succeed at all of them but fair enough 
I'm going to get like rid it. of the evidence of my uh, total massacre and my reversal of history there, uh, just to <laughs> bring it back home. Uh, but one. Yeah, apparently, I guess. Um, but no, good job. Thank you again for the teach here. Uh, this is a good introduction to then the proper commands and color system. That I definitely yeah, want to try. The first, the first one called commands and colors. Yes, so. yes, exactly. Uh, I uh, resembled that remark of uh, what uh, Russ is saying here. Oh, Samurai, yeah, I want to try that. And uh, he's only played Samurai Memoir 44, so this and Napoleon. Like, I'd love to try uh, Medieval as well, and probably Samurai too uh, at some point. But this is a great instruction system. I haven't system. played Samurai. That's one of the yeah. ones I haven't played. That one seems pretty wild. So um, I don't know. I might be able to. I'm at a meetup next week, and I might be able to actually play this, but I got to find the right person that has this and see if uh, I can get it to the table. But uh, as it is, I got something else scheduled. But uh, really appreciate this uh, run through. I hope everyone else uh, enjoyed our little show here. And thanks again to Fred for letting us take it over for the day uh, so he could just sit back in his pajamas or whatever. And he not just for the busy. day. We're not giving it back. Oh, that's true. That's true. Okay, we have now. the con. We have the con. I can yeah. uh, go in and uh, change some of the logo wear and stuff. And uh, yeah, we can put, announce uh, what Fred's next videos are going to be. That's true. Uh, that's I think, true. I think it's a 40 year old Hex Encounter game with Mark Herman. I think that's the next video. So cool. All right. Very ambitious, Fred. Good for you. Might yeah. take over with some uh, different logos here and there uh, where we can <laughs> and uh, just uh, pimp our own stuff instead. But uh, yeah, really quickly, I guess we didn't mention it off the top, but you've got a blog. Uh, you've written books yeah. as well for people that don't know. Yeah, I mean, I bring it up pretty much every stream. But yeah, okay. I've written a book called The Medieval Crossbow. You should buy yeah. it. It's a great read. And I write yeah. on stewardellisgorman.com. Uh, I have a blog. I write about war games. I review books. Uh, and yeah, that's kind of it. Excellent. Uh, and then you, you have a YouTube channel. I've got my YouTube channel. I've got what does that now, piece now do? Two, now two YouTube channels. Now, apparently let's I've talk got about two. your original I'm, and superior one. I'm collecting them as I go here. Uh, the other one, yeah, is covering a lot more modern conflicts, it seems, but I want to get deeper back into history. But uh, what does that piece do? Uh, very structured teaches and some history lessons on uh, a lot of things to do with like uh, people's uprisings and revolutions and things like that. Not necessarily pitch battles, military stuff, but this is always fun to get into these things. So I uh, hope to be digging more through history on that channel as well. I think we've got our first bot. That must be made the big time. Oh, yeah. Sunday right on. Consult, uh... OK, <laughs> <laughs> they're here. They've arrived. Well, that's a good time to maybe uh, shut things yeah. on down. <laughs> I have to go to sleep because uh, okay. I'm going to go to bed and go to sleep. Uh, Fred <laughs> says he is, but it's still posting. So good yeah. night, Fred. OK, good night. And thank you, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks again, Thanks. Stuart. Cheers. Cheers.